Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to deploy a DAP to the POA network. So here's a demo of the DAP that we're going to be deploying to the POA network. This is a simple storage smart contract that allows us to get and set a value like this. Here is the Solidity source code for the smart contract that's powering this DAP. I'm using the Truffle framework to develop this smart contract as well as deploy it to a blockchain. And I'm also using Truffle as an asset pipeline for the client side application that talks to this smart contract. You can check out the link down in the description below to clone this repository and get started with Truffle. Currently I'm running this dApp on a development blockchain with Ganache right here. And I'm also running the client side application with a development server here. POA network is now part of Infura and we'll use the Infura API in order to connect to the POA network to do the deployment in this tutorial. In order to do that, you'll need to first sign up and obtain an API key from Infura. Once you have your API key, we can paste it here for safekeeping, and we'll use this momentarily. Now we want to install a few dependencies to our project in order to deploy this dApp to the POA network. The first dependency is Truffle HD Wallet Provider. This is a library that allows Truffle to sign transactions and broadcast them to the POA network. And that's what we'll need to do whenever we deploy this dApp. I can install this dependency to the project like this. And this wallet uses a mnemonic seed phrase in order to generate the account that we'll use to deploy the dApp to the POA network. And we don't want to commit this seed phrase to source, so we'll use another library called .env to save this value outside of our project. Now with both of these dependencies installed, I can create a .env file to save these secrets into the project. So inside of here, what I want to save is a mnemonic seed phrase for the wallet. And you want to create a 12 word seed phrase in order to generate your accounts. For now, I'm just going to use a test seed phrase to show you how this works. And while we're here, let's go ahead and save the Infura API key that we copied whenever we signed up for Infura. Now let's examine the account that's created by Truffle HD Wallet Provider. We'll open the Truffle console. First, I'll require the HD Wallet Provider library. And now I'll create a new wallet with the seed phrase that's stored in our EMV file. Here I'll pass in the mnemonic phrase and we can read this from our EMV file with the node global object process.env and we'll say mnemonic. And now we have our wallet. You can find the account that's generated by your wallet like this. It's important to keep track of this address because you'll need some POA in your account in order to deploy ADAPT to the POA network. You can obtain POA from your deployment by purchasing some on an exchange like Binance or Bbox. Next, we'll need to add the POA network to the list of networks inside of our truffle.js file. We can connect to the POA network by specifying a provider. And this is exactly what we'll use Truffle HD Wallet Provider for. I can import the wallet library into this file like this. And I can also use the env file to read the mnemonic phrase in order to generate our wallet like this. Here's how we'll specify the provider. First, we'll wrap this in a function. We'll say new hd wallet provider. And we'll pass in the mnemonic with process.env mnemonic. And now we need to specify the RPC endpoint for Infura. And there you go. That's the provider configuration for deploying this DAP to the POA network. All right, now we need to specify some other settings for the deployment. First, we need to set the network ID. This is the network ID of the POA network, which is 99. And next we'll specify the gas limit. I'm going to use 500,000 units of gas. And now we'll specify the gas price. I'm going to use one GUE here. Now we should have everything that we need in order to deploy the smart contract to the POA network. You first want to ensure that you have a smart contract and that you have a deployment script and that you have um, the POA network setting provided here inside of your truffle.js file. Now I can deploy the smart contract to the POA network like this. I say truffle migrate dash dash network POA. All right, so we have some transaction hashes from the deployment that was just created. Let's copy this value and take a look on the POA Explorer. And we can see a successful transaction here. Now that the smart contract is deployed to the POA network, we can interact with it in the client side application by using Nifty Wallet, which is an Ethereum wallet for Chrome. You can install it like this. 
One nice thing about Nifty Wallet is that it supports POA network out of the box. We can just select the main POA network here. You can see that I have some POA in my account. So now I can write the value to this smart contract. And I'll get a confirmation from Nifty Wallet asking me to confirm the transaction. And there we go. We've successfully updated this value on the POA network. So we can open Nifty Wallet and copy this transaction hash and go to the POA Explorer to verify it. And there we go. We can see the successful transaction on the POA blockchain. And that's it. That's how easy it is to deploy a dApp to the POA network with Truffle. So if you liked this tutorial, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And you can also find the tutorial code down in the description below. And until next time, thanks for watching dApp University.